Science 5. Weathering. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to define weathering, differentiate the types of weathering, identify the agents that contribute to weathering, describe how rocks turn into soil through weathering. The surface of the Earth's crust is constantly changing because rocks break up into smaller pieces in a process called weathering. Weathering can be classified into two general types, physical and chemical. Physical or mechanical weathering can break a large, solid mass of rock into loose fragments. This process breaks down rocks without changing their chemical composition. There are some agents that can contribute to weathering. Some common agents are water, wind, temperature, animals, plants and humans. Water is one of the most common agents of weathering. Strong waves pound on the rocks, causing them to break into fragments. Weathering also happens after it rains. The water goes underground through some cracks on land. At night, as it gets colder, the water would expand and turn into ice. At daytime, when it becomes hotter, the ice would break. This could trigger rocks to break as well. Wind is another agent that contributes to mechanical weathering. The wind carries sand or small particles that scratch the rock's surface. This action on rock surfaces is called abrasion. Rocks are exposed to constant temperature changes. As rocks heat up during the day, they expand. As they cool off at night, they contract. As trees grow taller, their roots grow bigger. To absorb more soil nutrients, roots maximize joints or fractures on the hard ground or rocks, breaking into them to reach the nutritious parts of the soil. This kind of physical weathering is called root wedging. Animals that live underground also contribute to physical weathering. As burrowing animals such as earthworms dig deeper, they cause rocks to break into pieces. Other big animals like elephants, tigers, and lions cause weathering when their feet scratch rocks as they walk or run around looking for food. Humans have contributed more to the physical weathering of rocks than any other living organism. A simple kicking of rocks can cause weathering. The construction of roads and highways and mining are just examples of human activities that directly break up rocks. Surface mining removes layers of soil or bedrock to reach the buried deposits. On the other hand, underground mining digs a tunnel to reach buried deposits. Both types of mining accelerate the breaking up of rocks. Chemical weathering changes the chemical composition of rocks. The minerals that make up the rock undergo chemical changes, which results in the weakening and the breaking down of rocks. The most common causes of chemical weathering are water, air and acids. As water dissolves the minerals, rocks may either change the composition or fall apart. For example, when the mineral feldspar is combined with water, it changes into a clay material called kaolinite. Some rocks contain the element of iron. When these rocks are exposed to air, the iron combines with oxygen to form iron oxide or rust. This process is called oxidation. Rust weakens the rock, causing it to eventually crumble. When rainwater reacts with carbon dioxide in the air, carbonic acid is formed. While carbonic acid is a weak acid, it can still break down rocks, particularly limestone and marble. The acid slowly dissolves parts of the rocks, causing them to break apart. Soil forms from weathered or broken down rocks over time, a process that can take thousands of years or more. Rock surfaces break down gradually as they are constantly exposed to heat and pressure like wind and water. After some time, a layer of soil forms on top of the rocks, and the process continues until the soil is fully formed. Soil is an important resource that supports many living things mainly by providing them nourishment and a stable home to grow. Practice Exercise What is the process of breaking down of rocks into smaller pieces? The answer is weathering. How is physical weathering different from chemical weathering? Physical weathering breaks down rock without changing their chemical composition, while chemical weathering changes the chemical composition of rock. What are the agents that contribute to weathering? 
the agents of weathering are water, wind, temperature, animals, plants, humans, and acids. How are rocks turned into soil? Surfaces of rocks are constantly exposed to heat and pressure like wind and water, causing them to break down gradually. Over a period of time, a layer of soil is formed on top of the rocks, and the process continues until the soil is fully formed.